Welcome to Genialis Expression. I'm going to briefly walk you through the app to show you how you can analyze, manage, and interpret your NGS data without having to rely on bioinformatics scripts or collaborators. First, you'll need to upload your data to the app. This is done on the import data page. The most common way of doing this is to upload compressed FASTQ files from your computer, but other methods are available, such as direct import from Baseface, FTP, or public databases. Begin by choosing whether your samples are single or paired end and select your files. Once they start uploading, you should check that the files are paired and matched to the correct samples. Drag them to reorganize if necessary. All your new samples are automatically put into a collection for easier data maintenance, and you will therefore need to name this collection. Start import when you are done. After the data is uploaded, you'll be redirected to the collections details page. So far, We've only uploaded the data, and now it's time to start with some analysis. Navigate to the Actions card. For beginners, we recommend using preset pipelines that can be found in the Pipelines tab, but you can also choose individual bioinformatics tools from the tool catalog. Choosing an analysis will take you to the Create Analysis page. Usually, all you need to do is select the samples. You might also want to view and modify advanced parameters, however, we recommend starting off with the defaults. Once you're done, click Run Analysis. This will start the process and automatically redirect you back to the Collections Details page where you'll see new data objects and results appear in the Samples and Collections data cards. Status icons show the analysis progress. Before we continue, let's take a quick look at how data is organized on Genialis Expression. Each time a process or tool is run on your sample, a data object is generated. For example, if you run an alignment process, your reads are aligned to a reference genome and a new data object is generated consisting of aligned reads and other data outputs. These new data objects are all linked to your sample. Think of a collection as a folder to organize all your samples. You can group samples by experiment, by batch, or in any other way that makes sense to you. It's good practice to always annotate your data as soon as it's uploaded. Adding metadata to samples can be done in batch by editing a pre-filled template and uploading it back to the app, Alternatively, you can edit the sample's annotation individually. Metadata of a collection should consist at least of a meaningful description, as this field too is indexed for fast search. Where applicable, describe the relationship between samples. For example, define case and control groups. Once you've uploaded and analyzed a lot of data, you can always search for data objects, samples, or collections in the search and view results page. Clicking on any of the search results will take you to a detailed view. It's also very easy to share a collection and all its samples with your colleagues for seamless collaboration. You can explore certain types of data using interactive plots and graphs. Let's go ahead and add this collection of RNA-seq data to the samples basket and navigate to the visualizations page. For the purpose of this tour, we've pre-populated an RNA-seq demo data set from the study on the effects of the drug JQ1 on triple negative breast cancer cell lines. There are four experimental conditions. Drug-resistant cells and non-resistant cells treated either with DMSO control or the JQ1 drug. Each treatment group contains two replicates, so there are eight samples in all. We'll begin on the sample comparison tab by asking, are my replicates consistent? And are my experimental treatments and controls distinct from one another? In the hierarchical clustering plot, we see that the replicates form clades as expected. We can also see that the drug-treated non-resistant cells cluster quite distinctly from the control groups. Similar PED clusters can be observed from the PCA plot, thus validating the experimental design. Next, we ask, do my known marker genes display expected expression patterns? Since JQ1 is a small molecule inhibitor in the BET pathway, we can further validate our experiment by determining what effect JQ1 treatment has on the genes in that pathway. For this, we've selected GPI, which is a housekeeping gene and whose expression should remain unchanged. We've also selected MYC and CCND1, whose expression is regulated by BET protein, and we expect them to be downregulated. Lastly, HEX-IM1 is known to be upregulated by BET inhibitors. When we look at our bar chart, we see just that. Compared to the expression of GPI, both MYC and CCND1 are downregulated in drug-treated cells. HEX-IM1 is similarly upregulated in our experiment. You may have noticed that two of the samples are colored differently. We've previously annotated samples according to the treatment type, 
which allows us to easily distinguish treatment groups during our analysis. The next thing we might want to ask is which genes are up or down regulated in response to the drug treatment. In this table, we can see the number of up and down regulated genes in response to JQ1 drug treatment. Since we are primarily interested in understanding which cancer genes are down regulated, we can highlight those genes in the volcano plot to investigate them further. Once we've selected our down regulated genes, we can observe just how different their expression is across each experimental condition in the heat map. Expression heat map lists the entire selection of down regulated genes. You can quickly notice that CXCL1 is significantly downregulated in non resistant cells treated with JQ1. Let's say we're not familiar with CXCL1. We can simply search for it in the genes basket in Ruth's description from NCBI. Here we see that this gene is involved in the growth and progression of various cancers. Now we have a potential drug target that we can investigate further. Currently, visualizations let you explore your RNA seq data. ChIP-seq data, and SWIFT Biosciences Excel Amplicon data. For other types of analyses, your results and QC reports are available for download. Send us your questions and comments to support at genialis.com. Thanks for watching.